Hello, I'm Rihanna Huckins coming to you from Coral Gables, Florida. I'm at Coral Gables Hospital where urologist and penile implant specialist Dr. Paul Perito is hosting an educational event for the international medical community. Surgeons from around the world regularly come to Coral Gables Hospital to learn about Dr. Perito's innovative, minimally invasive penile implantation surgery. We sat down with Dr. Perito and several of the participating surgeons to ask them about this advanced procedure and how it will help them in treating their patients with erectile dysfunction. There are several types of penile prostheses. Uh, there's two in general, one being the malleable, the other be, being the inflatable. I only use a three-piece inflatable in cases, in almost all of my cases, but in general, if I'm going to use a malleable penile prosthesis, which is a prosthesis that has no pump mechanism and no transfer of fluid, th these implants are reserved for patients who have problems with de dexterity, whether they have Parkinson's, have had a previous stroke, and they're unable to manipulate a pump. The three-piece penile prosthesis that I use is a device where you transfer fluid from one part of the implant to another through a pump mechanism which is located in the scrotum. Uh, during sexual intercourse, uh, you, you pump the, the implant until the penis is completely inflated or erect and uh, after coitus is terminated, you're able to deflate the, the mechanism. And that deflate process is very important because you wanna be able to have it concealed. For example, if you go to the beach with your, your, your children or if you're in the pool or, in your, or if you're in the steam room, nobody will notice that you have an implant because it d 2 messes or it, it remains in the flaccid state just like a normal penis would. For the last 20 years, I've been attempting to make the process of penile implantation as simple as breast implants. There's some very interesting numbers. Uh, across the United States every year, 300,000 women undergo breast implantation. Across the world, 20,000 men undergo placement of penile prosthesis, of which I'm doing 500. So, I believe that this procedure, as it continues to evolve into something that is so simple, simple, eventually those 20 million men that are rendered impotent in the United States will have the option to have a very simple, efficacious, and safe procedure to treat erectile dysfunction. Uh, the experience here is um is uh, not something that you can get from the textbook. I mean, we, we saw a bunch of cases today uh, with him, uh, some difficult cases, uh, some, some straightforward cases, but it made it look so easy. I mean, even difficult cases, which normally would have taken, and we've worked with some of the best, uh, you know, it would take about three hours. He did it in about 30, 45 minutes. It's amazing. And it will definitely help our practice because, you know, cases where we thought was too difficult for us, and we've learned from this, we've 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 learned from Pareto, and certainly, um, you know, will be will be it will benefit us. The training here started with uh, some lecture last night in the reception at the Peritos Clinicus, and then after we went to a dinner that was very funny uh, with everybody involved in, uh, on this program, and today. We are doing uh, 16 surgeries. That's for me, it's an incredible number of surgeries for just a one day. And we can learn a lot about that. Basically, we are learning a less invasive procedure to the penile implants. And it's nice for the patients. Uh, some of the main differences uh, that we've seen today, I mean, he's changed a couple of things since we last saw him about three years ago, which we've picked up today, and we'll, we'll, we'll use it again when we get back to Australia. Um, you know, some of the techniques, he's modified it. He's obviously done another, I don't know, five, six hundred since we last saw him, and, uh, and he's, um, he's, he keeps modifying. One of the things I like about Paul is he's a thinker. He doesn't stop, he doesn't stop, and uh, his techniques con continually evolve. Uh, you know, even though it's just a bit of touch up here and there. And so that's what we've seen, a bit of touch up here and there, and just makes everything so much more refined. It's different because I, I, I used to use the uh, scrotal incision. And 
here we use an infrapubic incision. It's a little bit different. It's a, I think the simpler way to do it. Well, uh, with the uh, with the new experiences that we will learn, uh, I think uh, as I said earlier, we will have more confidence uh, in tackling more difficult cases that in the past we might have uh, tried to avoid. And I think uh, this certainly will give us that uh, confidence that you know we can, especially working uh, with uh, Dr. Boon Kwa, that uh, we've been working now uh, for the last uh, six years uh, since we started uh, the program. Uh, I think uh, more difficult cases uh, will be so much easier after we've done this course. What, what would I tell patients about penile implant? I mean, we all know penile implant is the gold standard. I think if you want a high satisfaction rate, if you want something that is durable, available anytime, 24 hours a day, uh, and reliable, uh, I mean, penile implant is the way to go. And Pareto's technique on minimally invasive infrapubic approach um, definitely wins hands down compared to other approaches. And I would say to the patient, go for it. The, the penile prosthesis is a wonderful way to, to treat ED when you have an organic cause. So I, I, it's one of my favorite treatments for, for those patients. So I think it's a, it's, it's a good advice to, for them to take it. I, I think uh, anyone that is doing penile implant surgery, I, it, it is very important to try and get uh, as much variety and uh, and doing the, the techniques in a different way and even this is uh, the experienced urologists that have been in this area for a long time and I think uh, seeing Dr. Perito do these cases and looking at his effortless uh, work uh, is it's a great uh, enriching opportunity to uh, to uh, be able to learn this uh, his way of doing the procedure. Oh, I, I think for, for other people, other physicians, it's a great experience. I think they can they can come and, and, and see, it's wonderful. We are getting a lot of uh, different information at the same time. It's like a brainstorm on penile implants. <laughs> if you are serious about penile implant, if you think you're going to do penile implant and you haven't seen Pareto, stop, don't do it, come and see Pareto before you start because anyone else just doesn't match up. I just wanted to spend one minute um, discussing what it's like to exchange surgical models and not just in the United States but all the way across the world. The three of us have operated together now three times. I've operated in Canberra with Hodo, I've operated in Brisbane with Boone and we have had incredible experiences not just comparing surgical models, but, but, but meshing our surgical models and taking the best of each surgical model, whether it be anesthesia, the back table, the surge, surgical technique. And every time that the three of us have gotten together, we've learned something new from each other. So, so, so this, this interaction between different surgical models, whether it be in Australia, we have Brazilians here today, uh, uh, those of us from the United States, Every time that we get together, it, the procedure and the outcomes for the patients dramatically and exponentially improve. Um, and how many cases have we? I think we did four at your place, four at your place. Today we're doing 16, and it's just every single time that we get together, there's new concepts and, and new things that will benefit our patients and, and make our surgical models even better. To, today, for, for example, there was a couple of new things that, that they brought to my attention that I used to teach that was probably not the best way of teaching it. And now, and now today we have learned even more from each other. I cannot tell you how valuable a surgical program like this and like what they offer in their respective cities in Australia can be to, to every urologist that plans on doing penile implants. Anyone with erectile dysfunction who is thinking about having this type of minimally invasive procedure should remember that a respected surgeon is right here at Coral Gables Hospital. Our community should also be aware that expert care is available to those who are experiencing any type of urological condition. The urology program at Coral Gables Hospital offers treatment for men and women, including male and female sexual dysfunction, prostate conditions, and kidney and bladder disease. Choose Coral Gables Hospital and know that you will receive comprehensive care from a team of surgical experts with advanced training and experience. 
If you have any questions about penile implantation surgery or the urology program at Coral Gables Hospital, call today.